another video. This morning Lloyd and I are packing our bags. We're getting ready to leave Changu after I think it's been two, nearly three months. Wow. I thought it was like two months. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. Two and a half. Yeah. Yeah, so it's time for us to head off. We're actually, so we're heading to Thailand in five days now. Before we head off, we're going to Ubud for two nights, then to Seminyak for one night, and then we may stay in Denpasar for a couple nights so we have time to edit the vlogs and then uh, just relax before we head off. Just finished packing our bags. We're sort of debating downsizing from these massive bags that we've been carrying around our whole time in Bali. It's been pretty easy. Uh, considering we've been staying like month to month places, but we're not planning on staying anywhere that long at this time <laughs> We change our minds so much uh, in Thailand. So we're actually considering downsizing our bag We might wait until we get to Thailand just to see what we end up doing. Yeah, we have too much stuff Yeah, for sure too, too many clothes uh, Obviously, we've got like camera drone computer stuff computer stuff, but other than that I think we could definitely downsize it's just yeah. like such a hassle when you're moving around a lot to have such big, heavy bags. Yeah, and we're planning on taking lots of like boats and ferries and stuff. So and we buses. think that might be pretty annoying. Hoping they let us on the plane with this heavy bag. Yeah, I was just thinking that too. So maybe when we get to Denpasar even now, we might try and call some of our stuff, take it to a thrift shop or something, which is crazy because when we were first moving into the suitcases, I thought this was such a little amount of things. And since we've been doing this for a while now, I've become more and more comfortable with less and less. You realize how little you actually need. Yeah. Like there's, I've got so many items of clothing that I, I like don't really wear. Mm. Like if, if I got rid of it, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Honestly, material things are very not that required for happiness or <laughs> yeah. to live an exciting life. Uh, so yeah, that's it. We're going to go grab some brekkie before we check out of this place and then we're off to Ubud. We just made it to Ubud after getting lost for a moment. Uh, we've made it to where we are staying and it happens to be right next door to, uh, if you've seen our previous Ubud vlogs, our first place that we stayed at and the bathroom was covered in ants. <laughs> we had no idea that where we're staying is actually right next door to it. We really liked this area. Yeah, it's a good area of Ubud. There's like lots of little warungs around, quiet area of Ubud. It's probably five minutes drive to yeah. Ubud Center. Yeah, there's a co-working spot just down the street actually. Small disclaimer again, we have received our stay for the next two nights um, complimentary in exchange for sharing our experience, but this is somewhere we actually would want to stay um, because it includes yoga, there's a spa, um, healthy eating, healthy food options. Uh, but just wanted to be transparent as always. We're just gonna quickly check in and see what this place is all about. Just checking in at Swasti Eco Cottages. We've got our welcome drink. It's absolutely delicious. I have no idea what it is, but it's so fresh and nice. Uh, we're just looking over the spa menu and we're about to check into our room. It's so beautiful here.
sick. Yeah. Big room. It's huge. All natural wood. Yeah. So our room is so beautiful. Like a little, like actual wooden cottage. It's so beautiful. I love that our, the place that we're staying in is called the Dharma room, which means purpose, which has been something that's been come continually popping up while we've been in Bali, so I feel like that's a sign. Yeah, very grateful. They laid out flower petals for us a little on the pathway in here. It's so gorgeous. I think we're just, we're gonna, we might take a nap. It's just so peaceful in here. We might just hang out for a few hours, get a massage, um, maybe hang out by the pool, get some lunch. Uh, it's really awesome. On Saturdays, they have 50% off all the food. And on Sundays, they do a full vegan buffet. So we're definitely going to hit that tomorrow. Really happy here. Thank you so much to Swasti Eco Cottages for having us. It feels like a dream. <laughs> Your legs are so long. <laughs> yeah. it looks so funny. This is the cutest spa I've ever seen. It's so cute. It's a cottage. I love it. So we're going to get a 60 minute Balinese massage each, which is 50% off on Saturdays. So we're getting all the deals actually today. Um, definitely worth coming here on a weekend. Highly recommend it. a big wet noodle. So relaxed. It was so beautiful. Just drinking some herbal tea. It started raining and thunderstorming while we were in there. It was so nice. Peaceful. I could go to bed now. But we're gonna go eat lunch at four o'clock in the afternoon. Our times are kind of off at the moment. We just had a delicious late lunch. The restaurant here is open to anyone. If you like plant-based food, it has a really nice menu and on Saturdays it's 50% off. Uh, so definitely recommend coming to try. We're pretty hungry because it was 4.30 by the time we ate <laughs> uh, lunch. So it wasn't quite enough food for us. We got more snacks coming and Lloyd actually just go eject us a bottle of wine and we haven't had wine since we left Australia which is so exciting. Wine's so expensive here. I guess they don't make wine in Indonesia because it's not the right climate maybe. No, only palm wine or they do like Iraq but um yeah well, regular maybe, wine. Maybe they do so make much. wine, I don't know but the cheapest bottle of wine you can get here is like 20 or 30 dollars. Yeah. And a beer is $1.50, so yeah. <laughs> doesn't make so we sense. always go that way. Yeah. Yeah. But we're gonna have that, we're gonna have some snacks, we're just gonna hang out and play cards like we always do. and delivered coffee and tea. We didn't even notice. No. <laughs> we just came out to the balcony and there's uh, yeah, coffee and tea here ready, which it's only 7 a.m., which is pretty good because we always wake up really early for some reason. Yeah, usually around five every day. And usually most places you go to, you gotta wait till like 8 a.m., anything to open up, breakfast yeah. or anything. Yeah. Really Same nice work. surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Breakfast is actually included with our stay while we're here, which is really nice. 
was going to drink our tea that they dropped off for us and um, head to the restaurant and see what's available for brekkie. After that we're going to a vinyasa class and then there's a all-you-can-eat vegan lunch that anyone's welcome to come to but we're very excited for it because it looks really big and a lot of different options in it so I'm very excited to try it looks really good. <laughs> the most incredible morning of yoga reading beautiful breakfast a little bit of work <laughs> but now we're starving again so they've actually set up a tent in the garden which is really nice and all the food's going to be set up on a um, big long table if it's anything like breakfast I know it's gonna be amazing because the food has been so good here it's all plant based it's really good and then after that we're going to go see if we can find the Balinese healer that does like palm reading we haven't done it before but it sounds really interesting uh, really good. Just another note, I would recommend this place for families. Our room actually has two extra beds in it uh, and there's lots of kids running around here. Some are actually coming into our room right now. <laughs> lots of kids running around. It's just a really fa like family friendly community feel to it. So if you are a family or if you have kids, I, I think this would be a really, really great place to stay. <laughs> God, I got so much food. This is all vegan. It's all you can eat for 100k. Pizza. There's something for everyone. Like they've even got like little vegan sushi looking things. Nigiri here. Looks so delicious. I'm gonna have so many serves. <laughs> I'm starving. Oh, <laughs> you already started. All right, I'll start too then. What do you think? pretty good. Yeah. Really like the pizza and the vegan pate was really good too. Mm. Unreal. Best vegan meal I've had in ages. We're gonna go for seconds I think. <laughs> yep. It's buffet all you can eat for three hours so might as well. Yeah. Three round two. <laughs> we'll probably do round three as well. <laughs> So we completely passed out after our palm reading and massive lunch that we had. Nicest, most peaceful nap. I feel like I've said peaceful a lot since we've been in Bali, but I, I can't think of another word for it. <laughs> We're just about to head into Ubud um, to check if it's gotten busier since we were last here. It did feel like it has. Um, even just in this area, there's a lot more people than the last time we were here, which is super exciting. Um, so if you are planning on coming to Ubud or wanting to come to Ubud, um, there's a bit more going on, which is great. But we're going to go check it out and see what's happening around town. Palm um, Rita said, just talked about like our health, our work, life, balance, spirituality. She actually brought up how many people were in love with us. <laughs> yeah, Lloyd had more than me. I only had four and Lloyd had six people in love with him. Yeah, Mandy's apparently got four four men in love with her, <laughs> including me, and I have six women. That's pretty cool. You just wanted to show off. 
He talked a lot about focusing our work on helping other people and that if we could do that, that, that would pay off in the long run. Yeah, which we feel like we've been trying to do. She basically told us as far as our work goes, um, if we could focus on helping other people. Like she didn't know what we do did for work, um, but if we could focus on helping other people, in the long run, that would pay off for us personally. Yeah, and she also said like we have the power to if, if a business is really um, dead and us to come into it that after we leave that business will see like an influx of business. She didn't know what we did for work. The way she worded it was like if we're working for a business then that business will yeah get more customers, more business which was funny because like it's sort of what we, what we try and do <laughs> yeah. with our channel. Yeah, uh, yeah really cool. And I had a bit of a sit and chat with her afterwards about how she learnt to do what she does and she basically said she didn't get taught by anybody she was in a coma and she found her spiritual side uh, when she was in her coma and she was able to learn basically all these skills that she has which is like palm reading and seeing what was the auras other? seeing people's auras and the color of them and stuff is really interesting I'm really happy we did it it's not something we would usually go to yeah. um, I highly recommend doing it for the first time it was really interesting so I don't know take it with a grain of salt maybe or I don't um, think so it was really positive um, advice and I think yeah it was good morning here. Now we're just about to have breakfast. We have to head off pretty quickly because we have a podcast interview to record today. It sucks I would have liked to hang around and relax a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah we'd, we'd do it here but the Wi-Fi is just not good enough. It's um, a bit spotty. Yeah it's not reliable enough. You yeah. don't really come here for the Wi-Fi I guess. So just something to keep in mind if you're wanting to stay here but we do recommend coming here. I think it'd be a good place for families but also for solo travelers. It's quite an easy place I think to meet people and there's a lot of different activities and things going on. So yeah, good place to stay if you're solo. Uh, they also have dorm rooms here, which you could stay in, which is sort of neat. Ubud was crazy busy last night. It's changed dramatically since we were there. It's probably doubled, I reckon, how many tourists are there. Um, so many little market stalls open that we didn't even know were there. Yeah. And we tried to go to two of our favorite restaurants. Um, one of them was sold out of food, <laughs> which was a bit, annoying but good for them yeah another one just wasn't open for some reason but uh yeah like the difference from what three months ago when we were last here was yeah the traffic was so heavy like but it was really good to see all the places that were struggling a couple months ago were packed with people so if you are thinking about coming to Ubud it is a good time it's up and it's happening and things are open again so definitely definitely add it to your list yeah. so we're about to head off shortly um, we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today if you're interested in staying here we'll leave the link down in the description if you're interested in booking uh, we highly recommend it I definitely recommend it it's a pretty unique stay if you're into yoga and meditation and all the holistic stuff it's definitely a good place to stay yeah it's our first time staying at an eco-friendly resort and I didn't feel like we had to give up any of the comforts at all really the only thing really was just the spotty Wi-Fi, yeah. but everything else was, you know, super comfortable. So definitely recommend it. Check out the link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you want to see our future videos. And it also just lets us know that you want us to keep making them. We're off to Seminyak today. And uh, so if you want to see our next video, we're touring a big villa in Seminyak. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.